Okay. You have the virtual floor, sir. Sige. Um, allow me to first share my screen. Oh, dapat i-open mo na. Okay. So, uh, just like any other class, let's start with the quiz. Okay lang ba? Yes, sir. Okay. Sige. <laughs> Nabuhi sila. So, I think... Ah, okay. I think full screen na rabas ako nga answer. Ah, okay. It's on. Hmm. Okay, sige, sige, sige. Uh, let me... Window screen. Sige. Okay, so makita na siguro akong screen. And, can that, sir? Okay na? Yes, sir, we can see the entire screen. Okay. Sige. Uh, so I have only two questions. I believe ang um, exio current is not about sa 75% passing, sir. Or 50 yapon ang um, overall na pan passing. 100 na sir sa time nila sir. 100 na. <laughs> okay, sige. Uh, allow me to just to break the ice, no? Dili lang sa inyo ang apart kundi pati po sa po. Ah. So my first question is you can freely share it. Uh, you can also i-on ang ninyo inyong mic. Pwede na po nyo i-story yung answer or in the chat box, no? Sige, so the first question is which between the two boxes is the carton? So, sa tanan ba? Nagbutang sa chat box? Yes, sir. Okay. Sige. So, the correct answer for this one is letter A. Okay? So, it's letter, it's letter A, it's because by definition, ang carton sa industry na where I am at now is it should be corrugated, meaning naigiring-giring ka na makita sa carton. Regardless if wala siya yung anda, isagbaga pa siya, pero wala siya giring-giring or corrugated, it's not considered as a carton, it is considered as a paper. Okay? Okay, bawi. Second question. Which between the two boxes is most likely to degrade faster? Is it A, the same, or B, the non-corrugated? Done? Okay, so the correct answer for this one, it's letter A. Because sa corrugation, a corrugated nga carton, kung kabantay mo, it's, it's just a paper, well, kaning sa pikas nga box, which is mostly found sa mga Maginasa, Jollibee, they are, would degrade dia pun siya faster if kwa on na to ang plastic nga layer nga nakapikit sa papel. So mo na siya nga bisag paper siya, medyo matata uran siya ug degrade. It's because of the plastic nga layer nga nakakabit sa iya. Ha? So na ba yung nakakuha og uh, perfect score? Yes, sir. Okay, mayo. Majority ata, sir. Okay, they're very <laughs> good, very good. <laughs> okay, sige, so let me uh, proceed to the main na ko nga first, uh, sharing uh, this evening. So, uh, what happened no, or what changed? Before Republic Junk, there was actually trash advocacy, your junk disposal body. And uh, so, Moni ang akong i-share karon sa kapihan niya. Unsa di ano nagbag-o man mi? Ano gibag-o na mo ang pangalan? And what changed or what pushed us to change it from trash advocacy to Republic Junk? Ug ang name lang ba ang na-change na or appeal ang process no na change ba? So, who are we, no? We are uh, simply a scrap retailer, no? Registered in Cagayan de Oro City under the DPI as a uh, sole proprietorship. Mainly, we offer a doorstep trash to cash collection service. So, kung mag-book mo sa mong service, and then we're gonna pick it 
up sa inyong lugar and among bayaran. Uh, we tag ourselves as the modern day mga ngalakal ng basura. It's primarily because the, we, unlike the usual practice nga maglibot-libot, uh, among ginabuhat is we based on bookings. And then, we de- and then ana a bookings depends our route on that day. So, so far for last year from May to December, these are the number of recyclable waste that we have collected. As you can see, mostly our scrap metal on top and then carton followed by the carton, cans, and then by the plastic and last and then on paper. So that is from mid of May and then until December, a collection. So our booking process is very simple. Pwede ninyo matry, no? When you visit our Facebook page, Republic Junk, you can see on the pin post section the details or our junk menu and its corresponding prices. So uh, you simply have to segregate and then you send us the complete booking details and then we will pick up and then pay you in cash right away. So as, like, as what have uh, Sir Dash uh, stated, uh, it started last 2018 when I joined the CDO Startup Weekend 2 where we bagged the first place at a time. And then after which, in the same year, I appealed in the uh, incubation program sa CDO Bytes sa USTP. And then from that time, I started to validate because I was amazed lagi ko sa idea na excite ko. So mo tong, uh, I started to ask stakeholders like schools, uh, I talked to junk shop owners as well. Nangutana sad ko og mga junk peddlers o kuban pa nga concerned stakeholders. And uh, anyone who produces waste, no, technically akong di istorya lang yun. And then I also started to cater bookings through a Facebook page that I have set up. Later, I will discuss on the validation ako, no. So in the next year, 2019 to 2020, uh, I enrolled to another startup incubation dito sa MSUIIT, Deya, no? Ang ilang pangalan sa incubation hub. And then on the same year, I also joined the KMME Kapatid Mentor Me program. Uh, in these two incubation program, mas na-refined ang akong definition sa akong startup. And at the same time, I was made aware of the technicalities and regulations in starting a business. So it made me realize na ay nga ni di ang ginagian sa mga tag-iya og negosyo no. Busa di sige sila una una on ah, sunod pa on ang kwarta ahani ah, ang pagbudgeting so grabe na gyud ito nga time. At uh, the same uh, the same year gyapon 2019 to 2020 I still continued cater booking sa akong Facebook page at nga time which is Trash Vocacy and then I outsource the collection to junk peddlers or junk shops or anyone who is willing to collect, regardless if bayaran ko or dili. Because I want to validate something. Eh. So, moto ato nga time, wala kayo kung nag-care sa commission. Kung naa, maayo, o wala, uh, thankful na lang ko sa experience. Kana nakita niyo sa picture below, they are actually the, uh, if familiar ba mo dito sa Zayas, kanang Eco Park karon. Pag close mong good anna, Gihimo na ang mga tanan uh, waste pickers nga na dito, gihimo silang cooperative. So at some point, natap na ko ilang services. Ako'y mag-receive sa booking, and then ingnan din ako sila nga ma'am, money atong collection, karon money ang lugara, na ano. Then ila din adtuan. Kundili sila busy. So the next year, which is uh, last year, I officially registered under the DPI on my own, and which is a rebrand na dayon to Republic Junk. And then, akong Facebook page, I changed it from Trash Vocacy to Republic Junk. And then, when I started to cater bookings, ako na po yung nagkolekta. So, so far, uh, what changes, no? Ang sa may nangabago atong at time from 2018 to uh, last year. So, this is what I have discovered during the validation. No? Medyo ubay-ubay siya. Ang trash vocacy good ang junk disposal body was originally a yellow pages for junk shop. Mo yun na akong intention lang. Wherein uh, people or like households or establishments would be very comfortable in disposing their recyclable waste kaya na ay one, one-stop shop. Ah, mo din yung lista sa junk shop na pinaka-nearest. However, 
when I ask the junk shop, kung cater ba silang collection, yes, they cater, but it should be in volume. So kung ako lang di ay balay, ang mag-dispose ang recyclable waste, uh, dili ko nila i-cater because, again, junk shops cater to volume of waste. At least 500 kilogram above. So I decided to be an Uber. An Uber, uh, not necessarily nga mag-app ko, though I did try. During sa incubation sa USTP, I, I did reach out to some nga mga other incubators nga na ay technical skills. However, they have other priorities at nga time. So what I did is, uh, what I did was, I, st I still uh, do the Uber thing. It's just that there's no app. Ako ang app. So mo through on my Facebook page, I cater the bookings. And then ako na din manghita kung kinsa nga junk peddler ang musugot. So mo na din to. Uh, cater kong bookings and then pa pick up. Cater bookings, pick up. So technically, I became a junk broker at nga time. Kaya dili lang mga gagmay na po yung mga dagko. No? So kung dagko na ang mag-book sa kua, I reach out now to junk shops. No? One of which is, has become uh, my friend until this time now. Which is, iha na po ko galabay sa akong mga recyclable waste nga na-collect. So what I have learned at nga time is that there are certain limitations gidi ay sa katong tricab, which is first mobility. No? Dili na sila gaagig highway because of traffic regulations sa three-wheel nga mga vehicles na punun siya. So kung ako'y booking sa Carmen niya, akong friend na sa Tagagusa, nga may mo pick up, di siya katabok. Kung matabok mo siya, magtago-tago ni Ahamo Agi. Second is the capacity. Because of its tricab, they can only focus on high-valued recyclable waste. So kung nakai pet bottles of plastic, uh, medyo bugat kaysa ako itong matay ni Ingon, pero mabalibad na lang. Maybe. It's because of my partner, di po siya makakater kaya as much as possible, ma-maximize sa iyong capacity sa iyong tricab. Which is the type of recyclables, medyo ma-focus lang sa high recyclable waste nga value. And then there are some ethical practices that I have discovered Nga you know na, on sa usually gakahitabo na akong na-discover. And aside aside po na, ang isa sa changes is ang among brand name, no? Or the name, Trash Advocacy. Because it came it came from two words, it's very obvious, no? Trash and Advocacy. Uh, every time mag-collect me, kung pangutan on me, ang saan Trash Advocacy? Galisan sila pronounce, so ako pang i-discuss. Uh, it's Trash Advocacy, ma'am. Trash and Advocacy. Uh, lisud ka ayo istorya. Then, uh, most of the time, they explain po, and we sounded more of an NGO than a social enterprise or a business. Uh, so, moto nga, isa sa reason nga akong gi rebrand siya, because very mouthful. So, when I re registered last year, these are the changes that I have implemented. First is renaming it to Republic Junk, ang trash to cash partner yung bayan. So, dili na siya accident nga Republic Junk lang ang trash to excuse me, uh, ang trust to cash partner ng buy. It's because of the SEO purposes, no? There's the word junk and trash to cash. So every time na ay mag-type sa Google, trash to cash or sa Facebook, para dali ni makita or dali ni ma-search. So that is why very important yun ang pangalan. And I've learned during the DTI na seminar na as much as possible, kung unsa sa imong business, mo pwede imong pangalan. So kung mang baligya ka o mga bread, so it's either bakery, or uh, mga other name na directly relates to your product or service. Para pag search engine na napangitaan sa mga prospective customers, dali ila ka locate or makita ka sa search engine. So mo na siya kung gikwa. Next is, as you can see on the photo, uh, among sakyanan ka ron is bongo. It's because we would like to be uh, geographically mobile, not just in Kagendi Oro, but also nearby municipalities. Nga makakater nga sad mi og high, uh, low, medium, and high volume of junk. So dili lang ni mag-discriminate og high value lang pati na po mga low to medium value nga junk. So muna siya nga na bongo. And then somehow we practice ethical standards. Recently, no, nagpalit mi og kanang test weight. So every time we collect we make sure that ang katong mong contact person nakita niya nga among gitistingan ang among timbangan na um, test weight is 10 kilos so dapat 10 kilos pod ang among timbangan so this is a win-win situation because we give an impression of or 
more ma win na mo ang trust sa amo ang user at the same time amo sang ma-check among timbang ang insakto ba kay base na hinoon na nubra na nya gansi kami na na hinoon gansi so it's a win win no and then we implement we also implement advocacy program so recently na ami katong jump for social good wherein ang imong halin sa imong recyclable waste pwede nimo i-donate second na apod mi katong the recent one nga communal trash to trash bins program so those are the changes that I have implemented because what I have discovered during the validation from 2018 to 2020. So when you start, what's up, Mayo? Should I go solo or should I ask my friends to join me? So there are pros and cons kung solo ka. There are pros and cons pod kung fa, uh, team mo. But on my part, so my personal take lang is... Uh, you can start solo, but if you want to grow big, you need to find a team. Did not just because of the mon uh, monetary nga demand sa imuha, but also of the emotional and mental nga demand in handling a business. At least na kuy lahat ay na kay makastorya, and then someone who could uh, you could uh, talk to about a concept in ya. Kaya kung ikaw ra mong gudisud ka ayo kay feel ni mo correct. But if you have someone to discuss it with, and then mo bounce back say mo ah, oh, lagi din yung ani de yung perception, so you could work it out. So there uh so when you go for a founding team, uh this is one of the team composition ngayi advice no based on my readings. First, uh na tulo lang tulo katao tulo ka persona. The entrepreneur, no? The entrepreneur. Unsa may mga characteristics sa entrepreneur? So you are the visionary. You see already the big picture of unsa ang business will be 5 to 10 to 15 years from now. Ikaw po ang katong creative nga inyan. Iyon na ito atong service. Iyan ni dapat ang ma-feel sa atong mga customers or users. So you craft the entire system. And most of the time, you live in the future, never in the past, and seldom in the present, no? So you go to the future and then you go back to the present to work it out. So mo na ang visionary and the entrepreneur. So kinsa ka sa inyo na ba dere mga visionary? Na ano ni hapon pa siguro ang visionary si kila. Visionary na sila tanan sir na ulaw lang. Na ulaw lang. Okay. Sige so no let's proceed. And next is the manager. And manager is more of the pragmatic at ng realistic ba? Ah kung si Entrepreneur, siya ang visionary, si manager ang realistic. Ah, okay, okay, imong vision. Karon, saan man ato ni? Maram ni itong budget. So, mo na si manager. Ah, okay, mo na imong buhaton. Saan man ato ni? Di man ta pwede katabok. Anak na location. Kay uban sa itong team. Dili pa man vaccinated. So, mo na mga realistic, no? Ah, uh, ang manager really balances the, the vision with the current so as you can see uh the realistic or the manager is concerned on planning order and predictability so usually go look at your pattern sa data and then dito mag base ang decision so that's the manager the next uh persona sa team composition is the technician and technician is simply the doer so nay nag envision na ay realist like supervise and then the doer is simply the one who is doing the actual so they don't just dream they do things their question is how do we do this so morning vision that you agree the manager so how do i do it now how do i deliver it to my customers to our users so they live more on the present so morning technician so this is the basic team composition according to michael e gerber so if you are starting out na solo, which is presa ko akaron, uh, makaingon ko nga na ako'y pagka-entrepreneur at the same time na ako'y more on pagka-technician. So kulang ko kibali o pagka na pagka-manager. So it's okay, again, na mag-start ka na solo, but then again, uh, because of the emotional, mental, and financial demands, it's good to find a team. Okay, let's proceed. So this is the mod, business model canvas. Uh, as you can see, delicious customers, it's for the users, no? 
katong gabuk sa among service. So what is the unique selling point sa Republic Junk? Kung sa may naaamong offer nga somehow dili kayo na to makita sa existing or sa conventional nga junk peddler or sa other green tech. First is kani, we pay cash outright. We don't pay points. We pay cash. Second, maana ni sa inyong hang doors, ah, sa inyong balay or business or office para i-collect dili ka mo ang maghatod. Second, transparent ang among junk nino. When we say transparent, kabalo ka nga kani tin can, kani aluminum can. So the buying price is a bit different. Grabe ka dako no kay ang tin can palito na og 2 pesos per kilo for now. Ang aluminum can ginapalit na mo 25 pesos per kilo. So kung wala ni ga practice of ethical standards, pwede na man siya palito ng 2 pesos per kilo lang. Then pag abot na mo sa mo kami na din segregate. So that's one no. Uh, transparent junk. Minus second is reliable collection schedule. Kung dili lang yun makawatan ni yung battery or ma-flat, you are rest assured, maanhaan mo na mo and then ma-pick up na mo yung recyclable waste. Ngayon di book, ana ng adlaw. Okay? So that's our unique selling proposition. Now, who use, uh, who are our target users? First is the residential sector which produces 56.7% of waste. Commercial, and then followed by the institutional and the industrial sector. So for last year, 2021, mostly ang gabuk salmon is residential. Now we are pushing for commercial, the 27.1%. Nga mag partner sa mua for their uh, recyclable waste disposal. And our customer relation, we would like to situate ourselves as a, or we would like to position Republic Jump as a community eco partner. Dili lang ni mamalit sa recyclable waste, but we also help your brands nga imong mga customers mahimong aware nga, ah, okay, you practice sustainability. So, community eco-partner. And then, our distribution channels, wherein our services will be uh, known or made aware sa among target customers and users. Of course, no, very uh, important and critical ang LGU partnership sa barangay na level, which is very important para sa amua. Second is joining eco hackathons or something like this, no? Nang ikandak ni Sir Nash. Uh, solid Waste Management Forum. And then, of course, very obvious no, on social media platform through Facebook. Though wala well, Instagram, but we do have a YouTube account. So you can just visit later Republic Jump. Narito among mga vlog about sa among mga collections. So, kinsa may mga key partners na mo to deliver our value proposition. So we have these government agencies, uh, both national and the local. So there is a Kagendi Oro, Natay Clenro, and then Napod sa DNRIMB, and mga municipal, uh, municipalities like Hasaan. So katong sa Hasaan, na sila Bailo Basura Store Program. Kung naka recyclable waste, at ka sa tindahan, bailuan din mo, o mga like kanton, uh, sabon, uh, one kilo of rice depende. Nagkato din mga recyclable waste nga ilang natigom, kami din magpalit ato. Ang halin, ibalik na po din nila sa Bailo Basura Store. So, important kay sila na mahimong partners sa namo para po na asad ni makulit and then we earn uh, later. No? Another one that we are hoping this year is the CSR program of the FNCG sector like uh, Robinson, Liwayway Corporation, and Coca-Cola. Or kanin sa mga fast-moving goods nga sector. And then, amos ang gitagaad o kaning emphasis ang mga ports like uh, sa terminal na to bus and kaning sa pantalan. Which is hopefully mapush through no, ang among partnership with WWF para sa ilang clean ports nga proposed nga program. Hopefully. So our key activities so that we can generate the revenue stream. Um, cater more collection. So Ang setup na mo is, ako na-observe is, daghan, na ay demand, pero ang supply karon ng pangitaon. Na ay buyer. Uh, ang pangutan na karon is, kinsaman, uh, mag na ay funding to buy recyclable waste. The question is, aha man ang recyclable waste. So supply karon ang concern. So it's very critical ang among collection bookings. Good. You need to dev uh, devise mechanisms, 
nga mo increase gyud ang collection na mo. And of course, no, um og kana pong mga incentive programs nga maganahan pa nga mong users magbalik-balik og appeal sa mong service. So those uh, those two things are very important sa mga activity. And of course, no, looking for good junk buyers. Most um isa sa concern sa solid waste mangod ni recycling is most of the end buyers nasa Metro Manila no uh, situated uh napoy Davao napoy ni Gamera kay sa Visayas and Mindanao so recyclable siya ang isa ka waste pero dili siya tradable it's because of the logistical reasons nga walay mopalit ana kay ang buyer tuwa sa Manila walay mas dual kay kung naalay dual siguro na nay demand ana siya tradable siya, I mean, recyclable siya at the same time, tradable po siya. So, muna siya ang isa sa ako nakita nga value chain challenge po. Nga no, kanira nga mga recyclable waste ang gakapalit o ang gakabalig niya dun sa ato ah, region. Because of, again, number of buyers nga main. So, the key resources for us to uh, operate are, of course, heavy misa manpower because our job is very laborious to hakot segregate hakot na pod baligya and also the transportation and storage but mostly ang internet connection because modern day mga ngalakot ng basura most of the time we should be online to cater questions and to cater bookings so our cost structure um kung makita ninyo among indirect costs are usually salaries and wages of manpower office materials and equipment mas did too heavy ang among cost sa storage area which is usually rent if wala namong gipalit ang lote and transportation labi na karon nga ang fuel gisigigit taas so among source of income is when we sell it to junk shops or to end buyers and then napoy sa high surplus kana bang uh, for example nakapalit ni og kanang okay pa nga item like gasol Ipatimbang lang siya kay gusto na lagi ipa-dispose sa peg-iya. So among gitimbang, instead nga i-junk to excuse, instead nga i-junk to siya, pwede to naman siya ibaligya as surplus. But most of the time, we earn our uh, revenue from selling junk na yun. So it's basically buy and sell lang yun ang among model. So that's it for our business model canvas for users. Okay. So now let's proceed to the competitive matrix. Uh, we identify a uh, competitor na mo nga nine modernized nga approach is best or the kanang nasa divisoria ba na karon ninyo makita. Uh, in terms of incentive and collection, our unique selling proposition is that we pay cash not points. So somehow advantage siya kay Filipinos uh, still prefer cash katong tangible, no? Doga uh, hinahinay na transition to e-money or e-wallet. Next is doorstep collection. Na doorstep collection ang best yapon, pero I think napasa ba nila? Wala pa din sa halayan di oro. So, kana among uh, advantage sa ilaha sa pagkakaroon. They, they also have doorstep collection di ay, pero not on the residential bitaw nga katong one more on katong mga magpahakot mo sa inyuhang construction waste magpahakot mo sa mga basura mo katong daily residual in short paid service ako na dunggan paid service sila so sa mo ah, kami ang mo collect kami pud ang mo bayad so for now that is our USP over sa ila in terms of incentive and way of collection on the contrary uh napod sila advantage over us no in terms of the plastic recyclables na collect nila and partner stores because for now um best caters to 13 types of plastics while we only cater to two and then um best but also has commercial link partnerships because again they are their central office is located in metro manila so they are well connected and main offices na po dito. So it's very easy nga makig kanda og partnership. So money ilang advantages over us. So uh I am almost uh done. So I think this is the second to the last part of the presentation. So the three things that I would like to share 
uh, just get what is important lang, no, from 2018 to 2021. Your why is your root. No? Uh, is money your only motivation to start the business? Because your motivation will come. Um, I ask this because when you're starting a business, kung dili ka gikan sa uh, family of businessmen or women, um, the first two to five years will be very kanabang challenging. So if money ang imuham motivation, na possibility nga if offeran ka job offer nga chada ka yung asildo, you might stop your um, your startup. Pero you will not stop, no fade lang din na siya, as what they say. Startup don't die, they just fade. So make sure nga imong motivation is money and beyond money. Importante dyan po ng money. No? Uh, opportunities and challenges will surely come. Sama sa mga ingo, no? Ang trials, kaya dili lang hardships, but also opportunities. Uh, mga offers na ihatag sa imuha that will make you think if you continue pa ba ni Wei mo start up or dili. So, muna siya, no? It's not just the challenges. Po. And uh, so, at the start, you should know your why because it will be your reason to keep you going. Next would be uh, your startup journey is uh, self-discovery. Your business will be a reflection sa imuang personality. Like, paraday sa kua, ito nag-start ko, hili ko nga dapat siya, dali nga ni mo na nga more on God give emphasis ko sa graphic design. Bisa gula ko dyan siya, pero ako yung make sure nga impress, first impression last good. Okay, nga na po di akong personality, so ni-reflect sa akong business, no? And then, uh, you may fall short on your goals, uh, but always remember, progress is is important po. No? Uh, don't take it hard on yourself. And then, uh, cry, be angry, celebrate, and then enjoy your journey as you venture to a startup. And then, uh, last would be just start. So good lang. And then, uh, let time be your capital. Not necessarily nga nag-yug kayo nag-yug kayo nag Kung nakay kwarta maayo, but if kulang or wala, then let time be your capital in what way? You research or second, you go on an immersion. For example, like sa kong apart. At kung nagsugod ko, di ko kabalon saan mong good. So what I did was, uh, nag-uban-uban ko mga junk peddlers. Bahalag tagaan ko nilang commission or dili. Basta nag-uban ko sa ilang booking, nakita na ko ang dynamics, ang process. Moto, moto akong gigahin, moto akong capital, ang akong time. So, pwede po na nga ma-practice ninyo. If na may nakita ang industry, then be part of that industry at first. No? Um, check the process, no? Kung sabay way nga magpadagan ng inyan nga business. Uh, start where you are. No? Uh, there are many free platforms. Ako, gigapit na ako ang atong at time isang Facebook page. It's for free. Bigyan ka ayo, no? Uh, you can create group chats. You can uh, also have, kung naamoy budget, you can do Facebook ads. So, di na kayo necessary na mag-flyering yun. Uh, so, pwede na siya, no? And then, execution validates your assumption. Uh, as what they say, if na kay prototype, you need to have a prototype yun, susugod. That is, your assumption, and then customer feedback na yun. So, pag dapat na yung prototype nga imong i, imong i-execute just to test your assumption. And talk is cheap in the context nga mag-overpromise ka and then under-deliver. Kana, yun, kana, it's one way to to kill your business. <laughs> kana mag over ka. So, ato nga time, na na nagbook so napog ko kasabot na junk peddler ang nitabo wala siya nito nga so sa patag to nya di ko gusto nga mahi, nga mo reflect man sa ko ah di man sa kato akong nasabot nga junk peddler so what i did was nagbike ko padulong balik sa Carmen dito sa Zayas nangita ko junk peddler <laughs> ato nga time kinsa le available yun uh, thankfully, no, nakoy nakita. So on the spot, yung banana ko siya dito sa 
uh, patag from Carmen. So, nag-bike ko, then siya nag gamit siya sa iya hangguan, uh, tricab. And then, kitagaan po kunya 200 pesos, ako na doon mo naman. So, moto siya, uh, mura bag imuhang gigampanan, ang imuhang service. So, moto akong gibuhat na itong time. And then, uh, so these are the recommended books uh, you could read. Again, Mindset Also Matters. So these are the three books na somehow ni, ni dulot po sa ako. And then, again, this is uh, money ang sa mga collection. Ang isa is ako ning kauban during collection. Usually, duha or tulumi. And again, this is our social media network. And if ever Ara uh, nami Facebook na pod mi YouTube and if in case gusto mo mag dispose of sa in recyclable waste you can freely visit our Facebook page and avail for a trash to cash scheduled collection. So again thank you for listening and uh we can proceed to Kapihan if you have any questions. Thank you so much uh Sir Hope for that very amazing presentation. Uh same with the class. This is the first time that I, I we've know I've known Sir Ho for a few months already. But this is the first time that I really saw him talk about his startup, and I really pick up a lot of points. I do hope kamupod. So I have a lot of things to say and to comment. But I leave it first to the class for your questions or clarifications or concerns. So the floor is now open for your queries, everyone. Let's take this opportunity to ask uh, Sir Hope. So I, th I think we have a question here on the chat box, sir, uh, from Miss Princess Darapa. Uh, she was asking, sir, if at during the, what were the challenges you encountered when you first started, sir? I think this has to do with the trust, trust vocacy, sir. Mm -hmm. Um, the challenges, no. At first, lang siguro like songi ingon niya. When you start a business, it will be a reflection of your personality. So atong at time, dili ko risk taker, sir. I do it play. Uh, I do I do it safe most of the time. So I think the um, first challenge was transitioning. From uh, from uh, play safe to a risk taker na mindset. Mona, dito ko nagsugod yun, sir. And then, siguro, um, kung sa actual na startup, I think it's the practice. Uh, saan man ako, niwala ko kabalo. Ayun, the knowledge ba? Nga actual, nga CDO. Ah, no, that's sir. Tanang. Sorry, I think we got. <laughs> I don't know how to uh, wear this. Ah, uh, sorry, sir. I don't sorry, know how just... to wear this, but. Sorry, we got no power. I think some uh, of our friends here just uh, nagkaroon ng power interruption. Okay, sir, Pete, you were asking something, sir. Um, I don't know how to read this, but from what I gather, you make a you make a lot of or you try to make a lot of connections too in order to make things work, right, sir? Yes. Kanang, uh, kanang nakai, do you have any problems with communicating with new or old like do you have new and old like clients or people of, people of interest? Uh, in yung work not like kanang business deals or whatever it's just like sa lisod lang to 
let's say catch up this lang to oversee certain groups i don't okay. know you, i don't know to word it properly but the general is was it ever hard in communication and management the more and more you expand mm-hmm. yes uh i think the way i see your question is um uh, it comes to communicating our or uh, creating networks in partnerships no sakto ba ko uh the way i see it uh, as you can see on the business model canvas uh nay mga several nga mga segments no na commercial residential and then industrial then on the key partners pod na apod tay mga uh the uh, government agencies mga ngos and mga corporates so based on your question like lahi gyud og messaging ang ilaha so for example uh when i talk to residential sector i advocate decluttering kay mostly moms or mga mothers no di sila ganahan og samok so akong messaging sa akong service is um kanang pag declutter na mo ma'am plus maka gain by gain mo cash that's my messaging now when i talk to commercial establishments the messaging becomes more different no why not earn from your trash and then declutter ana siya kay since these are business people uh, mas ma engage sila into uh, income mo na siya ang messaging pod and when it comes to the uh, government agencies lahi na pud ang akong messaging no it's more of community approach nga mahimo ko nilang asset sa ilang existing uh, program so that's how i position myself in every different na mga uh, segment users or partners i hope i answered the question <laughs> let me let me provide addition sir i think this is uh, sir Pete, you'd like to comment first i do have one follow up but i'm still thinking on it you can go ahead sir okay sir i think uh what uh, to contact to contextualize what sir hope and your question sir pete is that uh, this is where the concept of market segmentation comes into play so usually when you do marketing uh, the messaging is different according to your target uh, target customer so you, so that's i think yeah, we'll, we'll explore more on that as we navigate through the session but sir pete that's really a good question so um the floor is now open for your follow up sir <laughs> sir pete <laughs> So like when through the communication process, Kayla, uh, have you ever had made any alterations that can benefit both your client and yourself, sir? Um, I'm I'm not sure, sir. No. Uh, uh what what kind of alterations, sir? Do you, uh, do you have something as a, a sample, uh, in mind? Let's say in general, like you go, like you have. Mm-hmm. you have goal mm-hmm. a and then, uh, the, and then the client probably has a different goal in minor different incentive mm-hmm. or whatever it is that they're thinking of mm-hmm. and um, um, term that when you're trying to negotiate both sides reach and reach and uh mm-hmm. Both sides reach a point na they agree with the terms na. Mm-hmm. Dili lang complete, pero at least they're both satisfied with the terms that they negotiated with. Um, possible ka ng memorandum of understanding? Mabot na ng point? Oh. Uh, sakto ba? Yes, more or less, sir. Mm-hmm. So, uh, when it comes to dealing with, uh, again, ako to contextualize lang, sir, Pete, ha? We're talking about the users, not the customers, right? katong mga gayu sa amo ang services dili katong amo ginabalig yaan sakto ba ko it works in both those kanang like the clients and customers pod ah, okay. or like the users okay so sa amo users uh, like for example kaning communal trash to cash bin program um and kaning communal trash to cash bin program is somehow encompassing uh mura siya og it could work to residential 
and it could also work to commercial sector. So, kana siya nga way gi... So, what we did was, ang commercial sector, instead na ibalay-balay na mo, we approach it as a whole, as a subdivision, or as a barangay. So, just like, eh, nga ni siya, ang, ang level of recyclable waste nga ilang i-produce will somehow mahimo siyang the same sa isa ko commercial establishment nga dinaghan. So, I think that's one way wherein we compromise between two users ang um, residential when in approach na mo sila as a whole as a community not house to house and then the commercial sector ko katong nga program ako na dum duman nga naanimowa and then uh, clear sa ilaha unsa ang mowa nga mga provisions so mo na siya okay thank you Thank you. Thank you so much, Sir Pete. So we'll just have first, uh, Sir Hope. There's a question in the chat box. Uh, if it's okay to share on this, uh, Mr. Her uh, Sir Hertz Pelias mm. is asking about the cash flow. <laughs> is it positive yeah. po, um, every month <laughs> or each month? No, no. Uh, I would say na, as what I've uh, shared earlier na is money your only uh, motivation? Because if it is, then I should have closed the business, sir. <laughs> I should have long closed the business here. Um, what I've learned is if positive cash flow in a strict sense, no, negative. But is there an impact that we're making? Are we gaining traction? Yes. So that's where I stick for now. But still, no, we work on our cash flow, Yapod. It's just that siguro sa sugod, medyo mas daghan ang among cash out kesa cash in because we're still gaining more users pa sa among yes. services. Yes, sir. I think that that's usually the challenge for startups, especially if you're trying to gain traction. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, is yes. Sir Hertz, so, Marcia, uh, Yes, sir. Please continue. Yes, sir. sir Marcia, uh uh, if you immediately base on profit, Mangwood, many business would close na yun. So, mo na siyang, uh, as much as possible, when you start a business, na you get buffer. Like, ang uban ana is they still have work and then in a part time pa nila ang ilahang startup. So, that's the usual practice. And then, again, um, sa ako ang apart, we are usually tag as a social enterprise. So what I'm looking at is the not just also the income but also the impact that we're making sa among community partner. Kung feel na kung ako natita nga medyo kakadaghan ng among community partners. So as the entrepreneur and the manager and the, the technician uh, what I do would is raise funds. How do I do it? I I join to hackathons. I join nga mga funding programs in order to sustain the expenses. So that's the that's how I work with answer. Thank you so much, Sir Hope, for, for being so candid about that question, sir. Thank you again, sir. Uh, I think I saw Mr. William raising his hand earlier, sir. Uh, maybe... You, you... Sir William, you are acknowledged. I na, na press lang to, sir. <laughs> okay, sir. So I have a... Uh, okay, thank you so much. I know you have a, still a, still have a lot of questions. Na shy lang siguro, but uh, Sir Hope naman provided his contact information as well as yung sa Facebook. So feel free to uh, quest, uh, if nakami questions further, you could ask him or you can course your questions through me. Uh, sir, uh, just some points I'd like to ask, sir, maybe for for the class yes. as well to to to. Uh, for them to expound it because the previous sessions or previous Kapian sessions we invited speakers po who talked to us on uh, in introducing to us the in uh, government industry academic ecosystem most specifically on the incubation centers uh, being yes. a graduate of both uh, incubation centers here in region 10 CDO Bytes and IDEA uh, maybe you could give uh, at least your experience on 
on how you came to know about these incubation pe- uh, centers, yun sa ang application sir, and how you got in and the experience basically sir, so that siguro uh, in the future if these uh, if these uh, engineers would like to de- develop their idea just like what you did, uh, makabalo sila mm-hmm. or at least they'll be introduced to the processor. Oh, yeah. So uh, I think uh, I'm not sure, but since Pohonda within five years, sakto ba Sir Nash? Ngana na pre incubation program ang Xavier. <laughs> yeah, we are. Know? That's that's one. Hopefully, sa among uh, with our program, sir, we are working, sir, na twenty until twenty uh, up to twenty twenty five. Our hope nga at least two more incubation centers funded by the government. But what you are really aiming nah. is kanang private uh, led na incubation center sir na ko ana gyud um, mm-hmm. the, the, okay. the private sector would be investing in it. but for now you you're right sir uh, we are trying to uh, nurture the incubation center for Xavier okay so sige uh, to answer the questions for national uh, what are usually the process in joining incubation program so dili sa tamulayo dili lang sa sa kagayan uh, CDO bites and then one in Iligan MSU idea MSU IT. It's very uh, very simple lang. First, identify the problem. Na lang, unsa tong problem ang unsa ang imong ginasolve? Second, what is your proposed solution? Ana siya. Dapat you should put it in writing, no. The third is how many are affected or is affected sa katong problem nga imong gina propose. Like for example, sa ko ang part residential uh, sa Cagayan de Oro butang nato there are 80 barangays sa Cagayan de Oro or 81 let's just say kana sila tanan 40% are having solid waste management issues so dapat clear ang imong number sa so, when it terms to katong na affect no sa katong problem and then if you could provide um potential or projection na income sa imong i-propose nga solution like for example for the first year money and projection second year money and potential but if wala okay lang i think very important is though most of the incubation programs gusto sila ka incubation man good so mostly ideal lang yun but for higher chances of winning or makuha mas maayo ang nanamoy prototype nga natistingan yun ninyo para makita sa incubator na ha okay nagsugod na yun sila let's support this group kaya na sila gisugdan and once you uh, so kana siya patong five things nga inyo akong giingon you will pitch it within three minutes na or five if ma if ganahan sila or if ever depending to ten minutes so at least you should be able to articulate your business uh, what made it valuable Uh, regarding the problem that you have raised. And once you're in, free halos na na, 99.9%. So, free in a sense, ako itong wala bito yung COVID, Sir Nash, or I think in 2019, um, katong sa ideya, may atumig uh, startup weekend, masiguro to, or startup month. So, ang flight ninyo, accommodation, I think is for free or a reimburse siya 100%. In yung snacks, uh, in yung office for a couple of months will be free. Of course, no, kung na office na, free Wi-Fi connection. So, nag-improve na mga incubation hubs ka rin. So, kung mag-start mo, yun, ah, we have our office here na nasa incubation hub. So, delay mo maulo mag-present sa mga clients. So, mo na siya ang mga advantages kung nakasulod mo and of course no very important network mura ko inyong network no ah mo din ni ang nasa government ah mo din sa private sector mas dali mo i-introduce or sayon mo introduce kay naman mo anak na program so mabak uh, mabak apan pud mo nila if ever na moy apilan nga other na pod nga uh, funding uh, funding nga mga programs so mak recommend sila I think most importantly lang sir siguro is network. Kana lang gyud akong maingon. Magdako imo network, madaghang kag maila. Thank you for that uh, sir Hope. So I'll just uh, siguro I'll just uh, present my four points I four key takeaways from your session. So uh, first is that I really appreciate yung sa technical and 
tech, uh, the entrepreneur, technical, and manager. Uh, we will be asking, sir, if it's okay that we can share the presentation to the class, sir, so that siguro they can review on it and they learn more about it, sir. And also, sir, I think what was very important is yung quotable quote na startups don't die, they just fade. So, uh, yes. and also, <laughs> yes, sir. And also, I think uh, for the class, sir, kasi I've, I've, I've introduced them to several pitches already. And what mm -hmm. I think is most uh, you, uh, admirable of your sharing, sir, was on when you, uh, how you, you did the peddling para mailhan gudi mo imuhang ko answer ecosystem imong customers which is I think uh, the class uh, kasi they saw a video where somebody pitched then one of the comments was uh, they did not he did not know he did not expound more on his customers so uh, with your story uh, knowing your customers it really gave you a great overview of how the ecosystem in your business works and yun yung mga books na recommendation uh, galing sir uh, to everyone uh, I also like the rich dad poor dad so yun po uh, that was really an eye opener for me especially when I was starting to pay my taxes so eye opener <laughs> talaga yung rich dad poor dad uh, so yun yeah. sa tong tulo uh, I think the the entrepreneur uh, the manager and the technician na adito sa katong imit revise atong tulo okay sir okay sir thank you so much sir for, <laughs> for that sir and uh since most of you here are into waste management, I think what is, what was very unique or what was very an eye opener of what uh, Sir Hope shared was on the supply chain. The bus Sir Hope shared that uh, yes, they are recyclable, but some of these are not tradable. Yes. Take note: recyclable but not tradable. So you could you have to understand the entire supply chain of waste management. So madali lang sabihin na recycle, 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 but the, at the end of it, is it tradable? It means to say that where, if, if these collected recyclables, where would they go? So, diba? So, yun, uh, a few, a week, a week ago, I was talking to Sir Hope with regards to Tetra Pak because uh, we are doing a feasibility study for Tetra Pak if they could build a recycling plant here because, yun nga, uh, yes, they recycle. However, dun, nandun pa talaga sa Metro Manila, yung planta nila. So, how about those na Tetra packs here on Mindanao or Visayas, where would they go? So you have, if you are to if you are to uh, ship them to Luzon for processing, so that we could reuse them again. I uh, sorry, we could recycle them again. So that would entail another type of cost. So looking at the overall supply chain would make us understand why some of these problems are still here, even if our technology is evolving. So that is something that we that is a challenge for us engineers as well. Maybe we could think of some ideas on how to uh, address that. So these are some of the ah, points sir. that... Yes, sir? Mm -hmm. Hope? Sir, um, yes, it's so timely, but I would just like to take this opportunity, okay? since these are engineering and... What's that, sir? Um, Civil engineering, sir, and chemical Civil engineering, engineering, sir. Chemical engineering. So, so going back to the Tetra Pak, sir, I actually talked to one of their staff sa Tetra Pak, Philippines. And... Ang Tetra Pak Mungod has a different layer of recyclable materials. So, if you, ako lang siguro yung i-throw balik sa ilaha, sir, ang ball. Since ako, nag-doon ako sa akong part, sa ilaha ka, o sa ilang mabuhat, sir, because if we can just separate atong mga different layers, and then ibalik niya da yun. So, muna nga ako, sir, ako na-observe. Because again, Tetra Pak is a layer of recyclable, tradable materials. And there is a lot of supply ana that is a billion webang ako. So if you have the machine or you can develop a system na pwede na siya ma-separate ang layer, then who knows if funds ako or imuon mo nila o um, kana bang waste partner. Okay, ang nahitabo mo gudana, sir, medyo gudaghan ka ilahang kaning container nga tetra, uh, packaging nga tetra pack problema so maglisa do ka pas usahay kung ahan nila ilabay so the question if naalan siguro technology nga willing mo process ato nga dire sa CDO the, the the supply is there and if as a start we could help as a logistical part kami mag transport and then let's just talk about the the 
uh, profit sharing, then who knows, no? Could be a viable business. Uh, thank you for that, Sir Hope. Uh, just to give you a lead, Sir, the, the research leader is Engineer Paklihan, Sir. <laughs> so the one who's doing your IBR as well, Sir. So, ah, okay. Uh, Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, <laughs> sir. Glenn. Oh. oh, sir Glenn, sir. Oh, so okay, we, we sir. are we, we just did it uh, just last month, sir. Ang among research. So again, sir, uh, I think that's ah, also okay. a, a challenge for us, siguro future uh, engineers na to to look for that uh, technology. Nasi gisa just siguro ni sir ko. I think that's one good avenue oh. for recycle uh, for research. So without further Tapos ado, sir. yes, sir. Uh, Sorry. Pa na sir, ako lang yah pa sir kay nakita niyo sa kong competitive matrix nga ang best caters to 13 plastics so we only cater to 2 ang isa sa problem with karon is ang single use uh, plastics or mga sachets so if you have the if you plan to have a to upcycle it and make a address a market out of it ang uh, mahimong siyang raw materials okay di happen Tapo I lang, think sir. for I think for the laminated sheets sir I think uh, that there's a project yung sa uh, MRF, so I don't know. Uh, the yung sa mga ikaya yung sir, but the, and the old Green ants? old landfill. The the oh, old yes. uh, yeah, I think they're doing the echo bricks, sir. But yun nga the problem with there is their market. So I've actually interviewed them a few weeks back. So yun uh, we're still finding uh, we're still finding a market for them. Cause uh, they have the technology, they have the raw materials. Uh, they're actually doing uh, it's 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 uh, let's just. Uh, what I meant to say is that it's really a solution in terms of laminated sheets. However, yun nga, the market of the echo brick, how would it compete with the existing? So that is something that uh, engineers, everyone will have to look, sir. Uh, uh, at least on my program, sir, we are also thinking of ways on how to better package so that we could market it better, sir. Yes. So, so yun, uh, it's really a... You have to really understand the overall supply chain to understand these things. So, yun, again, recyclable and tradable. So, I think, at least on my end, those were uh, two keywords that I really, uh, parang, na-struck ako this tonight. So, thank you so much, Sir Ho. So, uh, without further ado, uh, to everyone, I have placed in the chat box the feedback form for this session. So this will be composed of two sections. The first section is the usual section that we have and on for the second section it will be more of a quiz of which uh, we will utilize the things that Sir Hope shared to us this evening and you could provide some of your suggestions or comments on uh, it, it would be an analysis on the on your thoughts on how to further grow the business of Sir Hope for it to become more competitive. Maybe you have some uh, unique ideas that you could share to us. And siguro in uh, be, being a future engineer, so what are uh, your inputs? And even now, as, a, as, a, as an engineering student, what are your ideas to complement the business of Sir Hope or uh, to complement his enterprise or to make sure uh, to help sustain or grow his uh, business so with that allow me to share my screen again sir hope thank you so much for giving us your time this evening uh kabalo ko busy kay ka sir dahan to speaking engagement si sir hope national <laughs> going national na si sir hope the speaking engagements thank you so much for uh, being here with us this evening so allow me to present can you see my screen everyone just for confirmation can you see it po Okay, sige po. So, Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan, the College of Engineering. The Chemical uh, chemical Engineering Department uh, Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Mr. Hope Di Carino uh, of Republica Junk and Scrap Trading as our resource speaker for generously imparting his knowledge and experience on the session, the modern-day mga lakalang basura, the Republic Junk Story, during the Kapian Session Series of our class, Technopreneurship. Given this 24th day of February 2022, the College of Engineering Xavier University at Tineo de Cagayan, Cagayan de Oro City, signed yours truly, and uh, the chairman of the Chemical Engineering Department, Engineer Richard Edwin Richard R. Ortiz. So let's give him a round of applause, Sir Hope. Thank you so much.
Uh, again, uh, can you see my screen po? Yes, Sorry, I just, wala talagang kuryente sa aming area. <laughs> okay, uh, we'd I'm like, Sir Hope, we'd like to present this Certificate of Appreciation to you for generously imparting your knowledge and expertise on the session, the modern day mga ngalakal ng basura, the Republic Junk Story during the Kapian Session Series of our course, Technopreneurship. Given this 24th day of February 2022, the College of Engineering, Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan, Cagayan de Oro City. Signed, yours truly, and the Chairman of the Chemical Engineering Department, Engineer Edwin Richard R. Ortiz. Let's give Sir Richard a hand of applause, please. Thank you, Sir Richard. So with that, uh, thank you, sir. Again, everyone, uh, I have shared the Facebook page of Sir Richard in the chat box. So if you would like to avail his services, pwede lang tama chat nato kang Sir Richard, and he also provided his contact information for uh, for your consumption. So everyone, I know it's going to be a long weekend. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. And yon, uh, please don't forget to answer the feedback form as. That will, that contains your seat work and quiz. So we will look forward to all your comments and uh, and answers or inputs to that exam. So thank you so much. Uh, before we formally end, I'd like to take a screenshot. So if it's feasible to turn on your camera, please do so. On my end, nit nit kayo din ako maturn on ako ng camera pasensya. If it's feasible po to turn on your camera. Sige po, requesting uh, everyone to please turn on their cameras. Ah, <laughs> brown out, pari yara, hindi kaya punta. Okay, sige. Okay po, allow, allow me just to take the screenshot. Sige po, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Sagusak, brown out. <laughs> thank you so much everyone. Sir Hope, thank you so much sir. We'll keep in touch. Sir, thank you so much for your sharing for this evening. So on my request, uh, someone to please lead us into the closing prayer. Thank you. Siguro si Sir Kian could lead us into the closing prayer, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Sir Kian, could you lead us into the closing prayer? Sorry, I'm getting cut off. <laughs> Hello, po, hello. Claro, up, sir. Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Sir, could you lead us to the closing prayer, sir? Thank you. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God, in the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sins against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe. Uh, enjoy your long weekend. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you